Hi, welcome to Aha Guru's Physics Classes for Standard 11. You must have just finished your board exams and must be relaxing and hopefully also gearing up for Standard 11. Now, Standard 11 is a very critical and an important year. Standard 11 builds the foundation on which Standard 12 is going to happen. And not just that, all the entrance exams that you will take at the end of Standard 12, half of the portions will be Standard 11 portions. So you need to really understand the concepts of Standard 11 really well, so that you can not only do your 12 Standard Board exams well, you can do all the competitive exams well. Okay, whether it is NEET or JE or other competitive exams like BITSAT. So let us straight away get into what it takes to be well prepared in standard 11. Okay, so our preparation is going to have three parts. The first part is the online lessons and the skill builders. These are recorded courses. These will be assigned to you as homework. You must complete these every week. The second part is the live online classes. Now I'll talk about this in a minute. And the third part is the consolidated test and the class test. Tests, of course, you understand. What are these live classes? In the live class, I'll be introducing a concept. I'll teach you some concepts. And immediately after the concept, I will give you a couple of problems to solve. I'll wait for you to solve. You need to work out the problems that I'm giving you and enter the answer. So you need to really participate well in the live classes. And now, if you want to do a good job of the live classes, answer the questions that I'm throwing at you, understand the concepts, you must come prepared by doing the homework that is assigned to you. The homework that is assigned to you will be in the form of online lessons and skill builders. These are recorded courses. So what does this have? It will have concept lectures. So first, there will be a video that will explain the concept. Immediately following that will be a bunch of solved examples. Because just knowing the concept is not enough. You must know how to apply it in different circumstances. So the solved examples are very important. They will tell you how to apply the concept. When you look at a solved example, don't start seeing the video. Pause. Wait for 5 minutes and try to solve it yourself. Then you can see the video solution. These lessons and skill builders also have a lot of practice questions. So all of this will easily take you about 5 to 6 hours per week per subject. So here I am talking only about physics. Physics will take about 5 hours of this work. This is self-paced. You can take 5 hours, you can take 6 hours depending on you. Right? So you can take a little more time if you need. But you must complete this every week. Okay. Similarly, maths will take you another about 5 hours. Chemistry will take you 5 hours. If you are doing biology, then it will take you another 5 hours. Please remember, this is super important. This is going to be self-paced. This is what you have to complete on your own. And you must do that before you come to the live classes. Every week you must finish this before you come to the live classes. Why? Because if you come prepared to the live class, you will find that you understand everything that is taught in the live class. You are able to participate well. When I give you a question, you are able to solve. So this preparation is super important before coming to the live class. Not just that. Starting of every live class, we will have a test. The class tests will be based on these online lessons given. So if you come prepared, you will get good marks in the test. Not just that. You are not wasting half an hour on the test without saying, saying, I don't know anything. Because once you come prepared, you will be able to answer most of the questions in the test. So you will also feel happy and you will actually be able to participate really well in the live classes. Now please remember, a lot of people say that 11th standard is very stressful. Too much work. Actually, that is not true. That is only the case if you are studying just before the exam. If you study every day, you work systematically right from the beginning, you will find that 11th standard will be quite easy and stress-free. So please put in this effort starting right from the beginning. Don't wait for final exams for you to start preparing. Prepare every day, little by little, and you will find that 11th standard can be a lot of fun. Okay, so I'm going to talk about what this course structure is going to be. We break up this course into terms. Okay, you're going to have three terms. I'm going to only talk about the first term. The same thing is going to happen in the second term and the third term, different topics. Term one is going to be from April to July. The class starts on April 9th. That does not mean that your work starts on April 9th. Your homework starts now. Your homework starts now. Don't waste time. 
I know that you are relaxing because it's holidays after 10 standard board exams. But please start working a little bit because every day if you do a little bit, it is absolutely stress free. If you accumulate things towards the end, then it will become stressful. So please do it every day little by little and you will find that things are quite nice and relaxing. Okay. So class is going to start April 9th, but please start doing your homework now. Your homework will be assigned right now. Okay. There are four chapters that we need to complete in term one. The first chapter is units and measurements. The second is motion in a straight line. Motion in a straight line you have already done in 9th standard. So, but this is going to be a lot more intensive. So, this is going to come back again. Then the third chapter is motion in a plane. Motion in a plane is a new chapter and a big chapter. And so, I am going to take one very important part that comes in motion in a plane which is vectors. I am going to treat it as the fourth chapter. Also, vectors is going to be used in every chapter after the third chapter. For example, in Newton's laws which comes up after that, work energy, in every chapter that comes after that, you are going to find that vectors is going to be a critical part, not just for 11th standard, even for 12th standard. So, we must spend a lot of time understanding vectors and of course, right in the beginning, you must go through and revise the topic that you have learnt in the 9th standard, which is motion in a straight line. The whole term, we will do all these four chapters. But I am going to talk about just the first part of this term. We are going to break up each term into what we call sprints. A sprint is about three to four weeks timeline. And so first I will explain to you what the first sprint involves. Okay, So in the first sprint we will be focusing on vectors, skill builders that are there for vectors. Whenever I talk about skill builders, I will use SB, SB1 and SB2 means skill builder 1 and skill builder 2 for vectors. Vectors has many more skill builders. I think it has about 5 or 6 skill builders. I am asking you to do only 1 and 2 right now. Okay. So, for the first sprint. Okay. So, courses.ahaguru.com that will be the location at which website at which you must go and do the skill builders. Okay. You, if you have an Android tablet, then you can download the Ahaguru courses app and do it there. Otherwise, do it on a laptop or on a desktop at courses.ahaguru.com. You need to complete Skill Builder 1 and Skill Builder 2. And similarly, you also have online lessons. Online lessons will be marked usually as L1, L2, L3, L4 and so on. So, you must do L3 and L4 at learn.ahaguru.com. The online lessons L3, L4, anything that starts with L will happen at learn.ahaguru.com. The Skill Builders will happen at courses.ahaguru.com. Okay. So, motion in a straight line. There are two online lessons L3 and L4 and for vectors there are two skill builders that I want you to complete. This will be the first thing that we need to focus on. This is not over right because first term has four chapters but I want you to first understand that even these four chapters this we will do a little later. We will start with this the second chapter and then we will look at the fourth. So this is what I am going to explain how to do. Now you are going to have four consolidated tests in term one. And you are going to have 11 class tests. Class tests will happen every class. It will be a half an hour exercise. Consolidated tests will be 3 hours long. You will have all the subjects, physics, chemistry, math. Or if you are preparing for neat physics, chemistry, biology. Then you are going to have 3 hours, 1-1 one, one hour for each subject. And so basically, you are going to have 4 consolidated tests in this time, April to July. I am now going to look at the time period from now till the first consolidated test for you to understand this bit better. So, this is what I call sprint. Sprint 1 means from now to the first consolidated test which will be on April 28th. The assignment for that, right, the homework assignment for that. Skill builders, remember please do it at courses.ahaguru.com or at Ahaguru courses app. Online lessons, anything that has an L1, L2 kind of thing, do it at learn.ahaguru.com. The portions for that is motion in a straight line, L3 and L4. What happened to L1 and L2? Well, they are the first chapter which we are not going to do in sprint 1. We will do it in sprint 2. So, sprint 1, please focus on motion in a straight line. You will find it easy because a lot of it will be things that you have already done in 9th standard. So, it will be a little bit of repeat, a little more intensive than that. You have two lessons for it, L3 and L4. So, I would like you to complete that. Vectors, new lessons. Skill Builder 1 and Skill Builder 2, 
complete this as well. So, motion in a straight line L3 will be motion in a straight line 1, L4 will be motion in a straight line 2. The second one will have a little more advanced kind of questions, shortcuts for solving problems. The first one will be very simple. So, please do L3 and L4, you will find it quite easy and simple. Vectors, SB1 will be the basics of vectors. SB2 will be vector representation. Again, very, very important, very critical. So, please finish both of these as well. Now, when I look at a skill builder, how does it look? It's going to look like this. So, I've just taken vectors basics and you will see that a skill builder will have concept 1, concept 2, concept 3, sometimes just two concepts. Each of these concepts will be about 10 minutes long. It's a video for 10 minutes explaining what you need to understand. For example, here after concept 4, there are three example questions. When you click on this, a video will open up. It will tell you the question, pause the video, work it out yourself, okay. Then go and look at the solution, okay. Please work out these things before because even if you get it wrong or if you are not able to solve, doesn't matter. When you try to do this for a little while and then look at the video, you will understand exactly how you must apply the concept in solving problems. That is very important, okay. Then concept 5, concept 6, again followed by a few more examples. So, typically, each skill builder will generally have about 15 questions, 12 to 15 questions, solved examples and a bunch of concepts, maybe 7 to 8 concepts. Same way, the online lesson will also have that, but the online lessons will also have additionally 15 practice questions in each lesson. So, please do those as well, okay. So, you must do the skill builders for vectors and the online lessons for the motion in a straight line chapter. Now, after you finish this, you are going to have a consolidated test on April 28th, which is a Sunday. So, Sundays will be the time when we will have the consolidated test. So, once the first print finishes, it finishes on April 28th, it will finish with a consolidated test. The second sprint will start immediately after, right? So, April 29th, the second sprint will start. The portions will be motion in a straight line, L3, L4. That was what was assigned to you. Vectors, SB1 and SB2, 40%. So, 60% marks for that, 40% marks for this. So, this is the consolidated test. Okay. The reason I want you to understand this is this gives you for the entire sprint what you need to complete and what will be the test on. Okay. Very important to understand and use this kind of preparation as you are preparing for all the other sprints. Now, let me take this and put it aside there. So, this is for the first sprint, right, overall. But between the time you are starting your homework till your consolidated test, you are also going to have a bunch of classes and class tests. I am now telling you what you need to do for the class and class tests. These class tests and the class will help you prepare for the consolidated test one, okay. So, first, let us look at the first class. The first class will be on April 9th, Tuesday. The topic will be straight line motion. And what was your homework? Straight line motion. So, you complete the online homework, come to the class, because it's the first class, you are not going to have any test, okay. So, you come straight to the class and straight line motion will be the class topic that will be done on April 9th. Now, what about the next class? That will be on April 16th, again the Tuesday. Topic will be straight line motion, but this time you will have test on L3 and L4, L3 and L4. So, please finish L3 before you come to the first class. Because it's the first class, we are not giving you a test. But L4, you have to finish in the second class before you come to the second class. L3 plus L4 will be tested in the class. If you have time now, please start doing as soon as you can. Finish L3 and L4. The more you finish earlier, the better off you are. Okay. So, first class and second class, you must have completed both of these. And the test will be on L3 plus L4. Remember, each of these online lessons will take you at least 5 hours. So, you must start the preparation quite early. Don't do the online lessons or skill builders on the day of the class. Don't do it just before. Start for before, right? Right before so that you have a whole week to go through it. 5 to 6 hours you can easily spend during the week and complete it. Now, this is the second class. The third class will be on April 23rd. That is going to be on vectors. So, you must finish vector skill builder 1 and 2. The skill builders are a little shorter, so you can easily complete it. So, you have two skill builders. My recommendation is don't wait for all this for the class to start or one week before the class. Start now. If you start now, you can complete all four of it 
and not just these four, you can even go ahead. Okay, so you can complete all four and you will have a class test on all of these. It's a half an hour test. So this will not have much in terms of weightage. This will have more weightage and so you will be well prepared for the consolidated test that will happen on April 28th. The consolidated test portions, motion in a straight line L3 and L4 will be 60%, vectors will be 40%. Okay. So, every class we will have tests that will basically reflect what you need to do for the consolidated test. So, we will take some of these topics and the same thing will be repeated here. Class test will be based on the online assignment, not on what is happening in the class. Because what is happening in the class, anyway we are asking you questions and testing you there. Of course, they are related because it's the same kind of topic. But the questions that will be asked in the class test and in the consolidated test will be based on the online lessons. So, you must complete the online lessons before coming to the class. Okay. So, I hope you have understood that you have the online assignments and the class, each class, the online assignment that you need to complete based on that, the class test will be held. And the class also will be held. And whatever you are doing here, that is going to be tested again as part of the consolidated test. Because there, everything put together will become quite heavy. So, you need to again revise and come for the consolidated test. Okay. Now, let us look at, this is just sprint 1, right? So, sprint 1, we are looking at motion in a straight line, 2 lessons, vectors, 2 skill builders. Sprint 2. Right, sprint 1 ends on April 28th with the consolidated test. Sprint 2 will begin on April 29th, go on till June 9th. The consolidated test will be on June 9th, again a Sunday. This is CT2, we call it CT, consolidated test, CT2. It will have motion in a straight line, 30%. Does that mean that we will be assigning that as homework? No, it is already assigned. So, whatever was the previous topic, that will also come back in the next consolidated test. Vectors, SB1 and SB2 has already been covered there. So, in terms of your assignment, that is not going to come up. Watch the assignments. So, you will see that vectors, we are giving you this, but look at straight line motion. Straight line motion, we are not assigning L3 and L4, but it is going to come up in the test. Why? Because you already completed that. But for vectors, we are going to tell you SB1 and SB2, this you have already done. So, SB345, this is the main assignment. Don't tell me it's become very heavy because this you have already done. So, you are going to only do SB345 and for the next chapter, actually this is the first chapter, units and measurement, you are going to do L1 and L2. Okay. So, units and measurements will have 40% weightage, vectors will have 30% weightage, but all inclusive SB1 to SB5, SB1, SB2, you have already done, SB345. That's what we are going to test you on mostly. Motion in a straight line will have 30%. That is not assigned here, but it's already done in the previous one. So, every consolidated test will also have something from the previous portions. Please keep that in mind. So, sprint 2, your focus should be to complete vectors. Hopefully, you have already done SB1, SB2 before. So, 3, 4, 5 is what you need to complete. Some of you may join a little late. If you have joined late, then 1 to 5 is what you need to complete. That's why we have given you extra time, okay, for this. And units and measurements, lesson 1 and lesson 2. So, that is chapter 1 in your textbook. So, that's what you need to complete for this uh, sprint. Sprint 2, April 29th to June 9th. Let us now look at sprint 3 from June 10th to June 30th. The consolidated test portions. Now, you look at this. It looks huge, right? Now, if I tell you, ha, you starting now for this test, you start now and start preparing, it will look like huge amount of stuff to study. But that's not what you are doing because motion in a straight line, you should have already finished that. The test you have to write without any extra preparation. If you do your work every day, then you don't have to prepare for this. You can just come and write. Same way vectors by sprint 2, you should have completed everything, which means you can come and write. It's only 10% weightage. But the weightage is important because vectors is going to come up throughout the year. Units and measurement, again, you don't have to prepare during this sprint. It is already prepared. It is just getting tested. So, these things will be like a revision of what you have learned. So, the new topics here, if you see the online assignments that have been given, the homework assignments, relative motion, L14, 30% score for that. Calculus in motion, L6, that is going to have 10%. Fun with differentiation, L7 and L8, 
that is going to have 10%. So if you see, this will be the assignment that you have to work on during this month, right? This sprint, basically June 10th to June 30th, about 20 days time. So sprint 3, you'll be focusing on this, but you'll be writing a test on everything before. So if you've not completed some of that thing, then your workload for sprint 3 will increase because you have to do that, this and this. So my recommendation is don't carry forward the work, finish each sprint in that time itself. So when it comes to the next sprint, that is already done. You don't have to prepare for that. You just prepare for this and you will write a test on everything from before. Okay. You don't need to revise any of these topics if you have already done that well, because then it's just simply quick revision, right? So nothing to do much. And I'll also tell you what you need to do for the revision. So I hope you have understood this idea of the sprints. Each sprint is about three to four weeks. Okay, each sprint is about three to four weeks. So how do you prepare? You make your plan for each sprint because the sprint ends with a consolidated test, starts with the previous consolidated test. You make your plan for that sprint, work out that plan, make sure you finish all the work that was required for that sprint. You will do that consolidated test well and not just that, you will be able to do the future consolidated tests well as well. Okay, so please prepare and plan for each sprint. First, see the concept videos for these online lessons and skill builders. Then try each solved example yourself before seeing the video solution. Okay. And if you have some practice exercises there, then please go ahead and do that. So do the exercise questions. And remember, before every consolidated test, make a summary sheet. It's very important. Motion in a straight line. You must have a one page summary sheet of what you have learned. Vectors, one page summary sheet of what you have learned. As you keep preparing the summary sheets, these sheets are the only things that you need to revise before the next consolidated test. Summary sheets are going to be super important for your final exams, school exams, for board exams that will happen in 12th standard and for JE and NEET. There is a huge amount of stuff that you are going to learn in the next two years. And if you have summary sheets, this will become very, very easy to revise. So please start systematically Every chapter after you finish, not after every online lesson or skill builder, but once you finish a chapter like vectors, you have finished all these five, summarize what you have learned in a summary sheet. One page, two pages, write down the key formulas, the key ideas you have learned and also make sure that you are writing the different types of problems that you have encountered. Use the summary sheet for additional practice. Use the summary sheet to revise for your exams. You will find that the summary sheets will make it very, very easy to revise everything that you have learned. Okay. So here I've explained to you about three sprints. Throughout the year, we are going to have almost about 10 to 12 sprints throughout the year. So you need to plan for each sprint. Make sure that you have completed the homework required for each sprint. Come prepared for the class and you will find that 11th standard will not just be stress-free. It will be a lot of fun. So welcome to the 11th standard classes and all the best to you.